What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off what happened last time, I may have overextended. And now the force under Alessio Lagrangia is uh, at serious risk of being annihilated as I don't have a lot of artillery to do what I need to do um, and to destroy these hordes. I've got my howitzers, which are great for dealing with blocks of infantry, but... I don't know, it'll all be about how we withstand this first attack. So let's deal with it. We are in a fort. It is Cologne. We do not have a uh, a city to defend, which would be... might have been better. We're on the open field, so my, my goal is to cause as much damage as possible. Because we have other armies marching up that can retake Cologne if we lose it. So the city itself isn't isn't too much of a problem. It'll be frustrating I'll lose an army, for sure. But armies can be replaced. And we have more coming up that can be used to continue the push. Ooh, I do not want to be in the town. I want to be out of the town. And I actually... This, probably want to focus on one side of the town. So if I group my depleted units together and anchor them like so, I can then deploy, stretch these men out a bit further, deploy my howitzers. Let's probably keep a unit of grenadiers here in reserve. Put these other marines on the flank. The cavalry are going to have to do a lot of running around. And they're going to be picking off artillery teams. Okay. Oh, Nadgers. You men pivot. You men hit the field marshal of Europe. dropping square. Our cavalry needs to get on the move. Those guys can continue to drop out, drop quick climb on the enemy as they come over the hill, but you guys need to push up. New men will likely advance up like so. These Swiss Guard are going to come over here as well. The Lagarde Lancers are going to counter charge, and the Cressiers are going to go try and hit that line infantry unit. No. Stay in square. Push my infantry up. This artillery unit, yeah, focus on hitting their bigger troops. It's good to know that this is where a reinforcing army is going to come in, because then we can try and deploy a bit of a. Yeah, my cavalry charge on. This infantry. So my the goal here would be to okay, let's commit you guys into the action. These Swiss grenadiers that are marching up. Their job is to create. Okay, good. So they they're going to rout and these men. Their job is to create a kill box around the men as they join this part of the as they join this section of the map between them it should be enough there's cavalry coming in so they may just have to drop immediately into squares all of them Drop these men into squares as well. Send some suicide lancers on into their 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. They're dropping quick climb onto the enemy, which is okay. 
units of cuirassiers are going to hit those units of cuirassiers. My cavalry are not... They're, oh, they're going to get intercepted before they can hit the heavy horse artillery, unless I keep... Unless I micro this combat and keep them on the move. Which isn't going to be easy. It does mean I lose visibility on this combat over on the flank. So if you guys get in, I can hop back. Okay, yeah, you guys stay in square because there's more cavalry coming in. That's the horse artillery dealt with. We've still got manoeuvre, or space to manoeuvre against these three, this three-pounder horse artillery. So over on here, it's a whole bunch of square formation, just making sure we stay in square. You guys gun it after the horse artillery. I might actually have a shot. I don't want to put all my cavalry in fighting here though. Can you guys, you, now you men run over to the, over to there away from their cavalry and chase down that three pounder. Oh, my cavalry got blasted by those sharpshooters. You men get out of line, form, well, get, out, get, out, get out of square, form line. Cuirassiers also get involved. My marines form line as well. My lance has got caught. Just keep running. Ah, oh. shame. Keep focusing my howitzers on their mobile cavalry groups. A lot of cavalry coming in. So we might have to just fire into the combat even though it's full of our own cavalry. It's starting to flank us, but there's nothing we can do about it. We just gotta think. Think of England, lads. Or well, think of Italy. <laughs> think of Italy, mon frere. You men all dump into square. Sorry, Mon General. You have a job to do. Your job is to go silence those guns. Your job with these men is to fire at will into that combat as quickly as you can. Oh no! My howitzers! My lifeblood! You don't run straight through those. Bikes, that would be pretty dumb. Okay, you've broken away. Dump into three squares, let them chase you. You dump into square. You may also dump into square. So this is going to be a bit of a square micro exercise on that front. At least though, this is a... Okay, my cavalry can do some good against these. God, look at this. Just keep dumping quickline right there. Just fire short. Well, don't fire short, sorry. Just don't fire long just hold hold the line those men have been cleared out so then these guys can actually form 
another leg on that box. Same here. There's a chance a small one may have broken two sides of the two sides of the uh, enemy position. Just a chance. We should keep the guys that are in square, that need to be in square, in square. Do some good work against the cavalry, against the artillery back here. <gasps> These cavalry came back. Good. You can also help the general. You men, out of square. Same with you. Form line against these devils that are now here to kill you. Actually, you might stay in square because you're right where the vulnerable bits are. Come on, quick climbing howitzers. You guys fight all off. Hold, hold firm. Ah! Enemy! <laughs> Enemy men. Okay, right. You guys nail it back. Nail it back to the front. Back to safety. There's another army coming in from over there. You guys firing by rank. Should do some good. There's some Royal Crusier guards over there. That's not great to have loose by your artillery and we're also getting charged by some line infantry guards which isn't great. Okay, you can now fire at will because you're going to go hit those lancer guards which is exactly who we want to kill. You guys can now drop into square. I fear. I fear we may things may have progressed too fast. You keep firing to the lancers. The Swiss men are pushing. Okay, let's stop. I'm just quick on a bunch of my own men. Can you guys now start to focus on them? Good. Start to run around the... F oh no, don't run around the flank. Oh, that's was a bunch of their dudes. I mean, you're going to have to hit the flank of their expats somewhere. Cavalry broke. You guys are in square to act as a... Fire in all directions. Fire in all directions. There's nowhere safe. You men get involved. This howitzer is my sole way of impacting those reinforcements. Ah, yeah, General's bodyguard! Charge the cuirassier guards! You gotta go take them down! Okay, you guys form line again. So you men I hit the Light Dragoons. They're doing some good by shooting into the backs of their own men. And then charge into the back of the Light Infantry Guards. And hopefully, we might be able to actually form a bit of a, a bit of a defence for those men as they come in. As long as nothing super scary comes in from the uh, from the battlefield, from the edge of the battlefield, so the fusiliers are falling down quick. Okay, where's my jump bodyguard? Get him around the rear to charge the light dragoons. Can you start to hit the Seventh Grenadier Regiment? I fear we're not doing enough damage these guys quickly enough in order to make them 
route. And so much so, these line of Jugards are actually winning. Okay, let's charge my men into the Dragoons. Let's try and kill them quickly. They're coming in. Focus on the Dragoons. Fusiliers are winning. The line of Dragards are winning. These Dragoons are now losing. Oh, yeah, I think we've put forward a valiant defence. But we've not been able to strike a defeat. Hold the phone. No, I still think this is true. Because these men are not decent infantry in a good enough position to uh, defend against a bunch of full strength units. They're going to sweep these, this force away pretty easy. So all we can do is hope to do as much damage as possible. Let's try and engulf and surround and destroy these guardsmen and these fusiliers before these dragoons crash into our flank. Here they come. It's not going to be pretty. Probably going to cause a lot of my men to start wavering and routing. Oh, the line of three guards are wavering first. Not enough. Some of their dragoons are starting to get taken down. But I believe this is the end. So let's watch the natural conclusion of this battle. Unless they do shoot the backs of their dragoons and do a lot of damage that way. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the Grenadiers as well. There go the Fusiliers. Let's go after the Guardsmen. The Foot Guards. The Dragoons are going down. Yeah, but this is this is so not a <laughs> not a win. There was a moment there, if we managed to break these guys quick enough and form a defensive line in front of our howitzers, maybe. But I don't think so. Sorry, Mon General. You're going to fall in the light of beautiful combat. And you can still have an effect beyond your... Well, not you anymore. I can get my general out of the mix. He can go and take out these two howitz and these two artillery pieces. It will draw the battle out a little bit longer, so sorry for that, everyone. But it's going to be a good decision, I think. If I want, if the aim is to do as much damage as possible, breaking my cavalry out to go hit their artillery is a good decision. Yeah, they're trying to intercept my general's bodyguard, but they're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. See, here it goes. It's the end. And how the grenadiers have detached, trying to catch up. Well, that ain't gonna happen. The general's bodyguard is going to take out these artillery pieces, then withdraw. Oh no, he's broken. Damn. What a pity. But the objective was to do damage. Let's remember that. <laughs> so let's see how we got on. So they've gone from 5,100 to 2,300. I'll take that. Because yeah, part of the objective was... Well, it was to do damage. I can, I can recapture cities. That's not the problem. Ooh, I don't want to fight that battle. And I don't think there's any real need to either. We lost no ships. <laughs> bye bye. You can go be a scallywag somewhere else. Yeah, the agents are still moving south to try and steal our precious technologies. It's interesting, really, that they are marching the way they are. It makes you wonder if they're going to end up just pulling back. 
Ooh, they're raiding back towards Paramaribo. I always forget this fight. I'm definitely going to intercept because look. Yes, please. Please send those levy and bowmen to hit my walls. Please do that. That will be a joy to watch them cut down. So let's see. Do you have any good breaks in the wall? Nope. Poor devils. Just put men on the walls. They have no artillery. They can't get in. They have to take. They have to take positions. They have to, they have to take some of my. They have to capture a gatehouse. Let's put my field artillery way at the back. Oh, my cavalry anchor down. These are our available reinforcements. Um, I put a unit over here just in case. Yeah, here comes the quick line. Ooh, just levy. Levy and bowmen. Not very capable units. I would wager a good portion of them don't actually make it to the throwing grappling iron stage and simply retreat. wavering as it is just from the cannon fire let them get within musket range yeah, one's turned away <laughs> that unit of levy is almost routing they will almost certainly come back if they do route because they've not lost very many men, many men at all that's the usual barometer. If they've lost a lot of men, then they might be done. But most of the time, they've not. Yeah, don't worry. I've got a line infantry guard unit just for you. This lever unit is shaken. Ooh, good artillery unit just killed a bunch of them. They will likely reform. It's only that, but that you know, Levy. Available. So if you guys formed up, that could be battle over. As long as you open up on these chaps before anyone else decides to come back. Ah, that unit came back. Focus fire them with help with the climb. There's a unit back there as well. It's the general's bodyguard. Well, if his troops can't get in, then that's battle over. Because ultimately, he is an elephant. <laughs> elephant based unit. Oh, another unit of bowmen is over there. So let's retarget those bowmen. With my howitzers. I've missed them on the move. Another miss. A oh, slight hit. So some of the ones that have lost not as many units, they will they will just come back. 
but they will suffer the same fate. Those men are charging someone. There's no one to charge. As soon as they walk within range of this gun. Although it looks like they're not going to fire it. Lucky for you. Yeah, that concentrated musketry at close range is not conducive to a happy infantry unit. So I might just speed up time at the moment, because now it's just going to be a series of artillery shots and watching men that didn't stand a chance getting repelled, which does not make for exceptional content. Okay, that's them all routed. Switch to round shot, target the general. It's just a game of see how close they can get. I mean, they took one of them out. There go the other two. Oh, the, other, the other actual general units over there. But there we go. For, I think, zero losses. Eight. Okay, not quite sure where that came from. But they lost nearly 2,000 men. So maybe don't try that again, Mughal Empire. Not looking forward to trying to break into Munich. Yeah, that force there was destroyed. So no, neither of my main forces here are in a position to take over. You're not in a terrible position, but you need reinforcement in the form of howitzers. Can this army leave the Netherlands? They're minus eight, plus the garrison now becomes minus four. Let's exempt them from tax and build a happiness building. And let's also pick up some marines and some guardsmen. So then you don't march into Cologne, but you're going to be nearby because you're not at full strength either. It looks like they're going to come after Dresden. So let's do some replenishment or reinforcement. In fact, we might do the old switcher route. So Mario Torricelli into Dresden. Michel Contarini can fall back to Prague. Replenish and regroup. You guys combine. And you may now stop your siege of Berlin. Because now with these guys scattering everywhere. That's not a great time. You guys can send a splinter force go deal with this last hanger on and fall back to Copenhagen so you guys replenish you guys replenish so we still do have a force up there in Denmark so we've got this force that's just sat here waiting really it's not deployed at all we don't deploy it we're at risk of we're at risk of not deploying of not being a good in a good position to destroy Sweden and then we get attacked by Russia that's what we're at risk of having I think let's push you up to the next building let's repair the port repair the pleasure gardens Finland we can build the fences in Copenhagen, let's build a church school, try and start to convert the population. Cologne. So you're still unhappy with this. Let's build an industry building. I might exempt them from tax temporarily. So then back here in England, you guys need two skirmish type units, two sharpshooters, because we've got machined rifling upgrade that dockyard there let's get back to the americas you men carry on doing what you're doing you're doing a good job eventually these guys will wander too close and then we'll give them the same treatment as we gave this force in terms of tech 
How close are we to no longer needing schools? Universities. Fairly close. A handful of turns. First of all, let's go check this big thing down here. Don't not worried about raids. So we've got machine rifling and shrapnel shot, which is pretty big. Construction reports, lots of good stuff being built. Upgrade these buildings here. Try to take out that Eastern Scholar. You got him. Everyone is upset. But they're, they're slowly coming around. So we do have... Eventually the Ottomans will betray us. We need to go take Malta as well at some point. It's not really a priority. So you men push up. That's where you guys hunker down for another turn. You guys can well, yeah, you can recruit some men to help boost your case. Let's pick up that port upgrade. Uh, let's build a actually let's recruit a militia to occupy the steam dry dock here in Antwerp. Fortify Norway in the event that the the Ottomans sail a fleet around, not the Ottomans, the Russians sail a fleet around to attack it. I would like to push these men up to St. Petersburg, and if we end up securing and destroying Sweden, that's exactly what we will do. This army here, ready to land and hit Cagliari. Could probably do with recruiting another down here. Well, that's the last of our heavy horse artillery. Let's get some Swiss Grenadiers. That's the last of the Swiss Grenadiers. So start to build up a force here. Just so we have a better chance of destroying the Swedish. If we get a good opportunity. I don't think there's any else. They're, these guys are just laying siege to prevent this army from doing anything useful. They're not actually a... They're not actually my focus of attack. So let's build a... Probably build a coaching in. Because it looks like they're going to be... Continue to be unhappy. Let's hit end turn. Ottoman is going to Ottoman. As they start to try and convert some of my regions back towards Islam. It's not going to work. The Russians are building forces, so really, in Vienna, we need to start recruiting more men ready to go and intercept and destroy the forces that are going to come after us, because they are going to come after us like a wave. It is interesting, they've left their northern flank exposed. So we have some opportunities there. Hopefully they decide their best opportunity or chance of survival is to drive east. Like, if they go east and they end up trying to survive in the land of Russia, then that's, that suits my purpose. Well, this chap's coming towards Finland, or is he going to raid... I would prefer it if Sweden decided to just march east. And thankfully, it looks like, for the most part, that's what they're doing. They're routing their way in that direction, for sure, at least. Ooh, do I want to intercept? Absolutely. But I'm just going to go for a quick uh, refreshment break for myself. And then we're going to fight another battle. <laughs> and we're just going to massacre native troops. So, see you in a second. And I'm back. Radio, awesome. Let's go and take them out. So we've seen before that um, the ability of these troops to get onto the walls is slapdash at best. And uh, 
Yeah. It's just going to be a bit brutal. I mean, well, I mean, we know that already. But what I would like is after this, for these armies to both fall back to the capital of the neighbouring region. Then my army can leave the city immediately and bottle them up inside their inside a town so they don't so I don't have to worry about them running around and being annoying so all my infantry my quite elite infantry now at this point so let's just deploy deploy my infantry properly like that because generally it seems if you don't do that then they're if you don't do it like that then the there we go then their ability to actually man the guns and stuff doesn't seem to work Sometimes you're not overly bothered. Turns out it looks like just right clicking does okay. Rather than trying to do any dragging. But yeah, just put men on the walls so you've got as many guns as possible engaging the enemy. Can try to do something like like that. Oh, damn, we do have a breach. Well, aren't I done? You get in there, then. Okay, let's do that. Oh, you guys all can't garrison the building. There we go. Cool. Uh, How it's on quick climb. Understandably, the, the wall AI is pretty dumb. You can tell they're trying to work it out. Like, <laughs> come on. Looks like they're all going to run straight for the uh, breach, so maybe I better put some other troops down here. Come on. Hey, the gate's open. They must have a sneaky spy over here as well. Too bad these guys who could do the most damage out of anyone is determined to... Uh... not follow what they should do and open up and massacre them. So these men should... There we go, at least they've started now. Fire it well off. Well, fire it well on, I should say. There we go. It's great, their guards have taken a hell of an awkward route. Yeah. This general bodyguard is furious. Come on, you men. Ready up. Engage the silly sod. <laughs> Can all do the job. Go 
there's the general. They swap, that's how they swap the men out. I don't quite know what de what determines why they do this. Let's get one quick climb unit to keep attacking the uh, cavalry. See, but these are the guys to have, because then as they run to the breach, they will get massacred by. Well, one would hope. Okay, good. They're trying to sort themselves out down there. At least the Swiss guards are on the ball. Oh, it's a lot of levy killed. Only men who make it past the wall are likely to uh, a get massacred by these elite infantry formations. But secondly, by the men in the wall here. Ooh, quick line, that can't be good. Yeah, I lost a few fusiliers in that engagement. Let's keep them to attacking people really far away. Running these Swiss guards may actually go up and experience Chevron. As they all shuffle about. Oh, cavalry. Lots of hits slap bang in the centre of these troops. They'll probably come back. A good chunk of these. Mm, your fancy green Mughal cloaks coats aren't helping you now. Yeah, see the cavalry's come back. Seeing such men will likely give the other men heart. There they go. There they come, sorry. It's a lot of artillery fire here. Here comes some quick climb. Go on, Swiss Guard. Thin them out. Thin out their numbers. Shooting through the trees. This is bad for them. Should have cleared all these out. Bouncing Cannibal killed that one guy in the corner. Straight hell on the, this unit of Dakiri. Let's speed up time, chiefly because what's really happening here is it's quite a beautiful massacre, really. They keep trying, bless their little hearts, and look, they keep sending more men in. They are determined to give this give this attack the effort that it demands. Bit of a danger close there. Cleared out that unit of levy, though. Yeah, those men are actually shattered. And still, one unit has not made it to the entrance. Not a single unit. Curious if the elephants would make it. Because right now these levy have to run the gauntlet. Because I mean, fusiliers are really good troops anyway. Accuracy 62, right? My worst infantryman is 46. So even though they're the same experience, everyone's they got the same boosts. That's but still like a 16. 16 stat improvement. Ooh, okay, very, 
very danger close. Quick line there. I definitely did get them to change targets over to these guys, but whatever. That is onward into the Swiss Guards. Who I'm going to take very kindly to this. Again, I definitely pick new targets. See, this unit in the front has actually gone up to the next level experience just from firing these cannons. This guy doesn't quite get how cannons work. This unit should start to get some good experience. That's the old shuffle around. It's probably going to take so long to do it, they're going to lose a good opportunity to kill that unit, and they are. Because these guys are running around, slowing it all down. I guess they might shoot at this unit of levy behind them. Shooting to the back of that unit. This fuse laser is still doing good for ammunition, but having a bit of a changeover. It's going to be a bit of a delay in the scheduled programming. Union levy is relatively intact. They're naturally very upset by the terrible things being done to them. They're steady, they might actually make it. Okay, the door's now closed. So they're pushing through these bamboo trees. What do they see? As they storm through... They are exposed. Infantry fine by rank. Infantry... All those men up in the... All those men hucking balls of lead at them. So they get through the hail... The maelstrom to get into the city and then when they actually get in here it's so much worse okay looks like the enemy have finally ran out of reinforcements come on fusiliers oh they did a little shuffle so this little step here is really quite it impacts their uh, rate of fire quite a lot so it makes me wonder if i do that can i get them to shuffle along a bit out of the way or like can i move them to avoid having to go down that step altogether So what will happen to the will these men naturally take up their positions? They will. All the way up to the edge. And they will actually pour excellent firepower. Okay, some men are going to try and go around the other flank. Bold. But these men have been sat here with their muskets primed for an awful long time. Okay, let's switch my artillery to round shot. Get them to snipe at the general's bodyguard. Come on, you men. I want you to earn that chevron. Guards. 
to be honest, this army in general is quite elite now at this point. They're all experienced, they're all veterans. These men allegedly are going to try and scale the walls, but I doubt they will. They will likely continue the tradition of going straight for the breach. Oh no, they're broken as well. The units that tried to flank are also broken, despite some fire by rank shenanigans. Or no, some shenanigans. Okay, let's get these howitzers to engage these units of levy that look like they might be stuck. I'm probably going to speed up time because right now these men are likely done for. It will be. Oh god, they're still coming in. Won't you even save yourselves? Think of your families! Good. Yeah, let's just focus on knocking out the... Okay, good. Switch to round shot, aim at the general. Looks like we might have a bit of friendly fire from one of our artillery shots. General's bodyguard is... Granted, I'm firing at him with my artillery, but he's also in range of this massive gun line at the front of the fort. Nope. We're just men with... Pitchforky, rake looking type things. This unit. Why did you have to come back? Haven't you had enough of death already? Just flee. There's only 300 of you left. See if we can watch the walls when the when the fusiliers. Uh oh. Oh no. Those poor devils. The field of dead that litters this battlefield, man. Oh god alive. Oh, let's just end it. <laughs> Oh god. So many dead. For 50 losses! Jesus. Holy hell. Well, my guardsmen, some of my guardsmen got up to the next level. Uh, experience. Good. They've actually taken up position inside the city, which means we can march over to We'll go over to the Americas, pick up this army, do a bit of a punishment, march out of the territory, and push up. Let's probably pick up some militia in the event that they sally and run out. Um, but apart from that, back over to the main theatre. So, this guy is now in good, in good nick, so let's just demand the surrender of the region. You guys can now... Actually, you're a pretty good nick, really. Get over to the bridge. So this force here at Hanover. What don't you like? You just don't like us because we're foreign. Racists. Uh, let's go and drop off this militia unit over to Antwerp. I bet we can't leave Cologne. I mean, not that I'd like, even want to, really. We've not got a lot of... Not got a lot of troops. The ideal here is to try and trick them into uh, fighting a river battle. I can do as much damage as I can to all of these men. I'll likely run out of ammo multiple times. This army's nearly replenished. Let's march up, not up, not into this guy. Let's 
go to Jesuit College. Do they have any agents around here? Because their Protestantism is still going up. Oh, yeah, there is an agent inside the church, which I've just knocked down and rebuilt it and replaced it with a Catholic building. Pronti, okay, can you men leave Copenhagen? Pronti, you can! Let's fill it with... Shit, let's be a bit thematic. Oh no, I can't recruit any more expats. Let's get a turn full of line infantry. Uh, we can't... Let's blockade that port. Then you can march across. What's your navy looking like? Pretty weak. Okay, let's send a cavalry unit into Aarhus to force the navy out for us to destroy it. They can take position inside and repair. This force is pretty ramshackle as well. So you move up to about here. Still keeping Berlin under siege. Netherlands are grumpy. Even though I've exempted them from tax. Interesting. Let's send... I don't really have any spare units per se. Send all those guys up to Amsterdam. Oh, they're not going to get there in time. So I may actually just bring you guys back. Because <laughs> next turn they're going to have... Amsterdam is going to have a whole bunch of recruitment done. Let's also get some... Dragoons in Rhineland to send over there. This force needs two more turns till it gets those sharpshooters and then they're finished. Let's pick up the new military buildings in Madrid to make sure we can recruit all we need to recruit. Let's build another unit of guardsmen. Two sharpshooters. Ooh, I might get these. I might get actual riflemen here. No, not sharpshooters. Then get a line infantry unit. Sweet. Could you guys leave Prague? You could. In which case then, let's pick up another string of line infantry. Let's take these guys and go and attack. Oh, pfft. maybe not attack them, just auto-resolve it. Let's fix the mines. Let's replenish our troops. Let's push. Can now move Mario Torricelli up towards Uomini. Berlin. March you guys into Dresden to keep them chill. Oh, you can't catch up to Mr. Croc. Gala Crook, sorry, not Croc. My agents. Come down here and try to take out the agent there. Uh, let's keep building up this force here because I fear they may become um, a target of Swedish aggression. Let's build the happiness building. Let's build Oh, these dragoons probably don't need to be there. I mean, they're still converting my people. Upgrade the commercial port. Let's probably build a. Just build a fort right here. Okay, Netherlands are rioting, which means next turn they will rebel, which means this is a problem we need to sort out now. So, Bartolomeo. You embark. Let's deploy. 
can move you guys out of the city. Disembark Bartolomeo. Okay, good. So then we can pick up the uh, riflemen and then ship them over next. And then that probably means... Well, you guys are still... You guys are still on your route back. You guys can still hang around. Okay. Let's hit in turn. Don't worry, Brian. The way I'm going to deal with you is invade Corland. And knock you out. And that'll be that. Tap, tap. Job done. Finished. I can't wait till I've researched all my technologies so I can just demol demolish my schools and just prevent them from... prevent the uh, AI from being able to steal any of my tech. Oh no, sorry, they're in um, the Black Sea, aren't they? I forgot about that. That's where the Brits are hiding. Georgia. It looks like they're... Ooh, okay, that's a lot of armies. Yeah, let's pull back. I could intercept. I mean, this would be a mighty defensive battle. But this f initial army doesn't have any howitzers, so I don't really want to do that. No. Yes, Sweden. Just run away to Russian territory. Just abandon all your claims to my lands and just retreat. The Mughals go str grow stronger, but not strong enough. At some point we need to deal with Bavaria. In Venice, the workers are on strike. Can't call on troops from Italy. Where are my dragoons from over here? Venice can recruit a union of dragoons. Craft workshop in the Rhineland. Upgrade that. Upgrade. The happiness building, which means I can probably now move you guys. Sands these two units out of the city. Altro, put you guys signore. in. Take these two skirmishes. Embark them aboard ship. The ninth and tenth foot. Disembark. Join up with your general. March them probably up to about here. A lot of troops uh, building up in Amsterdam might send four detachments south to go link up with Simone and Drizzi. I mean, you can now start to load up on artillery realistically, can't you? Well, not load up, but get some. Some Hanoverian rebels. Well, they can attempt to try and stop you, but I don't think it's going to work. Shifito Sparrow, can you leave Cologne? Not really. No, don't get Dragoons. Just pick up some Dragoons. These men might go down just auto resolve the Hanoverian rebels. Stockhausen Mount Jaegers, that's pretty neat. Oh, bit of a frame rate drop there. So yeah, they're unhappy, but they'll they'll deal with it. Oh, we can get back in one turn anyway. Okay. Angelo Benedito. 
Let's march you up. Balthazar. Let's march you up towards Berlin. There's a mighty battle is starting to uh, shape up here. I'm more than happy for these men to abandon our territories here. So are they at war with one another? Other allies. Right. I don't mind them retreating through Russian territory. That means I can build this fort up and get ready to hit Petrovskaya and St. Petersburg in one turn. But I probably want to keep some of my fleets just at sea raiding in key passageways like this and probably keep building up my ships or my naval capacity these are a lot of troops so they could just outflank me okay and just keep making sure they don't have any boats or ships Okay, more artillery. Okay, let's just recruit a, uh, recruit a cavalry. No, you don't. Get two cuirassiers and a lancer guard. Let's upgrade this port, upgrade this port. Not upgrade them all to maximum level yet. Because I think what we're squaring up to do probably take this oh no you're not the best army you're pretty good oh, we could probably steal some howitzers yeah you're yeah there so the reason why I was a bit squiffy is because that's where the reinforcements are coming in from I brought I want to attack from the south so it'll have to be this army but they have no Field artillery, so I'll have to steal. We can march the field artillery up to there. You can join them. I can steal these very elite artillery pieces from this army and also rebuild them. Then Mario, he has a way in. Let's go fight. Let's go fight the siege of Berlin. So my strategy is going to be. The usual get in there take the take the territory before these armies can bring can be brought to bear but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for this next episode of my let's play where we blow a massive hole in the swedish front line and to be honest they nearly capitulated by now because after this they own gdansk and they own sardinia and that's it so yeah Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.